Yeah, I think we are live. Um, my name is Lachlan from Beer Cartel, here for another meat grower uh, chat, I guess. Uh, today I'm in the nation's capital with Ben Spoke. I'm here with Richard Watkins, director and head brewer of Ben Spoke Brewery. We are at the Braddon Pub uh, in pretty much the centre of Canberra almost. Centre of Canberra, that's oh, right. Oh, it's so close. Hello, everybody. Um, so, a couple of things, I guess, from the Ben Spoke side of it. Um, it's just gone rampant in the last kind of, you know, three or four months in particular. That follows on from your GAB success. I want to elaborate on what, what's that done for the business? Look, um, the GAB star competition in itself is just a fantastic um, way for people who are passionate about craft beer to let people know the ones that they really like. And I think that Ben Spoke um, got voted number three. And beer number three was just amazing, yep. really, really humbled by that, by that uh, result. And what that's done for us is it's certainly driven interest to the people that come and try our beer. And that's, uh, you know, really, yeah. really yeah. pleasant. What was it? You had three, 20, you had the crankshaft at three? We had crankshaft at three, we had three in the top 30. So it's, uh, it's pretty it's not too bad. Yeah, it's pretty it awesome. the ratio. Yeah. Um, so in the next one, we'll be here for probably the next, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. If you have any questions that you would like answered, Please shoot them through on the comment section, uh, and I'll endeavour to get them answered. Um, so as I said before, we're actually at the Braddon Brew Pub, and it's pumping. It's Easter long weekends, and I'll see if I can do a bit of a zoom around. We're in behind the tanks, so there's, this is some of the tanks, but it's absolutely pumping. Um, from our point, as a retailer, we've just had your new beer come in. Um, I have that actually with me. So it's the red nuts. So this is one of the reasons, I guess, you know, I wanted to uh, come over and have a bit of a chat. What's for this beer? Uh, what is it? Have a... Yeah, look, um, after we launched our two core range products, the Barley Griffin and the Crankshaft, we did a little bit of a um, quiz with our, with our regular punches, um, our grafters, to decide, in their opinion, what was going to be the third beer that they wanted. Um, we had a real uh, great deal of following for our ginger beer, and, it wasn't too much of a surprise that our ginger beer actually got at number yep. three, uh, sorry, number one in, in that. But close behind in number two was, um, was big and hoppy. So we thought we'd do two different beers together. Um, we, we did the ginger beer and then we did the sprocket. And what happened when we did the sprocket was uh, everyone complained that it wasn't the red nut. So uh, we're always going to do the red nut. It's been one of our staple uh, IPAs uh, for years. And so it's a red IPA. It's... Um, Showcases uh, Ford Light, the Citra, uh, the Amarillo Hops, and uh, it's been yeah, it's been quite a great deal uh, followed the year in the pub. Uh, I know from our end, it's, we've had it only a couple of weeks, it's gone absolutely massive. It's had a huge demand for it. Uh, if you're chasing it, I'll put the link up uh, to the Beer Cartel site where you can purchase it after the, after the video. Um, it's a delicious beer. It's I know we've been drinking it quite heavily at work. It's uh, taking it home and it's delicious. Uh, but on the can of the new releases, um, if you have never had a Ben Spoke can, they've got a really unique feature that is always something I wanted to touch on. And as far as I know, there's one other, maybe two other breweries in Australia that are using it. And it's actually the ring pull. So it's unlike the whole tab of a Coke can or a normal beer can, this actually has a full, full ring top pull. What can you go with? With that, where did, you, where did you get the inspiration from that? Yeah, look, um, when we were deciding to set up beer spoke, we were always pretty keen to package our beers. We always had a plan that we would package our beers sort of three years down the track. Um, I would do a little bit earlier than that um, to the you know, demand of people wanting, wanting to drink our beer outside of the four walls of Brandon. Um, we always knew we wanted to put our beer in a can, so when we were building Ben Spoke, we actually came on site and with can lids underneath the reinforcing, so when you're downstairs and you look up at the ceiling, you actually can see can lids in, in the concrete at the ceiling. Oh, wow. um, so that was a little sign to say we're going to get cans done at some point. We noticed these cans were in the States one year, and they were just really pleasurable to drink out of them. It's all about having a great experience, and when you can pull it top of a can and, and really get those aromas coming out, um, it's no better way to drink um, sort of hot full of beers than that to have, you know, full opening of the can and really close the ranks coming out. So for us, it's yeah. really important for the beers we make making to, to do that. I know from whenever we're recommending beers at work and anyone saying they're going camping or anywhere where they might not be able to have glassware, 
it's straight to them. They're, they're the perfect fan that uh, is well, it's probably the only fan design, in my opinion, that you can almost drink straight from a fan and still experience the full, the full aroma and the pleasure of drinking a beer. So that's absolutely really fantastic. Um, it's one of the uh, almost highlights for me when drinking Ben Spoke uh, cans is that you do get that full experience um, in the ringtop. Um, so on, on the whole canning process of the brewery, You've got the Brighton Brew Club that opens. When did we open? June 2014. 2014. Yeah, big rise. Yeah, it's been fun. It's like we got to think we got to pinch ourselves every day. We're in the it's one of the best industries in the you know in the world. Absolutely. So to um, be part of a beer industry and such a great culture. There's so many good people in the beer industry, um, and uh, you know, I'm really enthused to get up at five thirty every morning and go to work and try and make the best beer you can. Um, so when you walk into the Brighton Brew Pub, uh, I guess one of the defining features is how many uh, kettles and uh, how many, you can, you can tell all the beer is brewed on site. There's so many different uh, kettles and stands, mash tons and everywhere. And I think you're saying before, that all the beer drunk here is actually brewed on site, even their core range. Uh, but we've actually got the cannery. That's right. So you've got a full, what's the production? So we've got the cannery, it's um, in an in industrial area. Um, uh, North of Canberra, it's um, got a five-thousand litre brew house there, and we um, can line there. Um, we just about to about to grow that can line, so we um, keep upgrading our can line. Um, That's awesome. Hopefully that will happen in, in April, and at some point in the future, we're going to open a retail a retail offering out there as well. Um, there's no point That's having all this uh, stainless in the way to shed. You know, share with people. So. Absolutely. Well, I guess that. Uh, leads it all on to um, what's next for Benspo? Oh, I think so. what's next is sort of hard to sort of uh, consider right now. We're sort of flying along, we're trying to um, stop running out of beer, which we sort of feel like we're getting a handle on at the moment. Yep. Um, so that's been good. Um, I mean, we're always wanting to release new beers. Have you got the next one lined up the next? We don't have it exactly lined up, but we are we are big fans of big and hockey beers, so we're going to definitely look at doing some more of those. Um, probably some more uh, smaller releases, more um, maybe even some collaborative stuff as well. So yeah, from me, I'd bring you to the top of your hands. So, yeah, uh, that's been a personal opinion. A lot of people uh, asking for a dark beer. Um, it's, uh, it's you know it's a lot of work goes into doing a new product. So um, maybe we've got six beers. That's going to be really busy. So. Um, we're sort of focused on that at the moment. Um, but we'll definitely get a dark beer in a can. We'll definitely get some bigger hot beers in a can. And who knows, we'll get some more, more room out there. At, uh, mid- oh, we yeah. might end up with uh, some of the sour varieties as well. Oh, awesome. Uh, well, I'd like to thank Richard for lending me his time today. Uh, if you're ever in Canberra, I absolutely highly recommend coming out to the Brad and Brew Pub. Uh, it's Always busy, it's always pumping, it's got absolutely fantastic beers. How many do you have on tap at any one time? Your own beer? Yeah, we usually have 18. We've got 18, 18. On tap, so. And it's all, generally always your own beer? It's always our own beer. Uh, always your own beer, so you're always going to have something new to try if you're not in camera. So I highly recommend you come out. Um, until next time, when I have got another couple of Meet the Brewer lines up in the future, I hope to see you then. Uh, have a good Easter long weekend. Thanks. Thank you. Awesome, 10 minutes. <laughs>